Welcome to the instructional video on finger thoracostomy. In this demonstration, we will go through the correct procedure for performing the finger thoracostomy in cases of traumatic cardiac arrest with suspected chest and or abdominal injury. Gather the necessary equipment, including the number 10 scalpel blade, a 6 and quarter inch Kelly forceps, large chlorohexidine preps, the high thin vent chest seal, suction with Ducanto catheter, 4x4 gauze, and a marker. Place the patient in a supine position and continue high quality CPR while gathering equipment. Raise the patient's arm above the head and locate the incision site. Identify and mark the landmarks at the 4th or 5th intercostal space anterior to the mid-axillary line. Cleanse the site with chlorhexidine. Using the number 10 scalpel, make a 1-2 to two inch transverse incision through the skin and subcutaneous tissue, using the middle of the rib like a cutting board. With your index finger, perform blunt dissection to palpate the rib, ensuring no displaced fractures are present. Palpate the rib above and the rib below. Using six and quarter inch curved Kelly forceps, palpate the rib and with steady pressure going over the rib, penetrate the chest cavity until just inside the pleura, aiming caudally. Hold the hinge point of the Kelly forceps with your non-dominant hand, then open the forceps with your dominant hand, being cautious to avoid letting the instrument migrate into the chest. Close the forceps and use them as an introducer. Guide your index finger down the top of the forceps and place it into the pleural cavity. Palpate for the diaphragm, lung, and separate away any adhesions. Be careful to avoid lacerating your finger on fractured ribs. Check your patient for a pulse and resume CPR if necessary. Loosely cover the site with a 4x4 gauze. If ROSC is achieved and the patient begins to breathe spontaneously, apply a chest seal. In the case of massive hemorrhage through a properly placed finger thoracostomy, place a Ducanto suction catheter just beyond the insertion site. Give positive pressure ventilation and initiate rapid transport to the closest trauma center. Thank you for watching this demonstration on finger thoracostomy. Please note that this procedure should not be performed if the patient has spontaneous circulation. Vascular access and airway management should be performed by other crew members to avoid delaying the thoracostomy procedure. Thank you and stay safe.